Okay, so let's continue our discussion on colligative properties. And now we're going to look at boiling point elevation and freezing point depression. So again, whenever you make a solution, the boiling point is going to go up and the freezing point is going to go down compared to whatever your solvent was. So usually we're dealing with aqueous solutions, so we're going to look at water. Um, and so this is a phase diagram. So this is a phase diagram just showing you solids, liquids, gases. The black line is the regular solvent and the blue line is what happens when you make a solution. So when you add some solute to the water, um, the boiling point is going to go up. So this is the difference right here. You can see that's the delta TB. So this is the normal boiling point, and then this is what happens when you add uh, a certain amount of solute to it, make a solution. So that blue line is the solution. Freezing, point's gonna, freezing point depression is going to be over here. So what we're going to do is measure the change in the freezing point, change in the boiling point, that delta TB. It's just the change. It doesn't mean that's the new boiling point or new freezing point. In order to find the new boiling point, if it's water, you're going to take whatever this delta TB is and add it to 100 because water will boil at 100 degrees Celsius. And the freezing point of water is zero, so you're going to find this delta TF and you're going to subtract that from, um, you're going to do zero minus this, minus the delta T. So your freezing point always gets lower, your boiling point always gets higher. So whenever we have a solution uh, where water is the solvent, the boiling point is going to go up and the freezing point will go down. So the boiling point will be over 100, the freezing point will be less than zero. Um, so these, what are these? Delta TB equals KB. So KB is a constant, which you can find in this table, and it depends on the solvent. So these are the different solvents. Mostly we're going to deal with water. So KB for water is 0.51. The Kf for water is 1.86, and, and the units are degrees C per, per molal. So molality, do you remember how to find molality? Molality, um, molality is the moles of the solute over the kilograms of the solvent. So we need to know those definitions in order to find the freezing point and, and boiling point. Um, so they depend on the solvent. Some practical applications, you add antifreeze to your car so that it doesn't overheat in the summer and it, it doesn't freeze in the winter. And then we also put rock salt on the roads to, to melt the, the ice. So basically you're forming a solution on, on the sidewalk. Um, and so what happens there, it, it just lowers the freezing point. So depending on what kind of solute you're adding, what kind of salt you're adding, and how much of it you're adding, you can lower the freezing point substantially. So let's try one of these problems here. Um, so it's dealing with antifreeze. Uh, antifree antifreeze has ethylene glycol in it, and I just put the OH groups in there just to kind of expand the whole thing. So you can see that it, is, it does have, you know, it can hydrogen bond with water. It's soluble in water. It's a non-volatile, non-electrolyte. Non-electrolytes mean that it doesn't dissociate into ions. Um, and non-volatile means it's not going to escape readily into the gas phase. These are, these are this means it's the easy kind. So if you see those big words, it means we don't have to do anything too fancy there. They want us to calculate the boiling point and the freezing point, and they give us a 25 mass percent solution of ethylene glycol in water. All right, so that's like a lot of information. If you're looking for, so let's go back over here to our freezing point and boiling point calculations here. So if we want to find the change in the boiling point, and then we can just add that to 100, we need the KB and we need the molality. All right, so we don't have molality, we have mass percent. So our first problem, the first thing that we really want to do is convert this mass percent, mass percent to molality. So mass percent is mass over total mass, and molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So this mass percent really means I have 25 grams, oh, here we go, 25 grams of the ethylene glycol, and I'm just going to combine all that now, and it's C2H6O2, H6O2. So instead of writing out CH2OH, blah, 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 just put it all together. So that's how many grams of that I have, and the rest is water. So if I had 100 grams of solution, 25 grams would be the solute, and the rest would be the water, so I have 75 grams of water, so they have to add up to 100. And now what I want to do is take the mass percent um, and convert to molality, so that means I want my solute, I need the moles of my solute, so I need to find the molar mass, and I'll give you a minute to find the molar mass, it's about 62.08 grams for one mole, and when you work all that out, you get the moles of the solute, 4027 moles. And for the water, we want to convert that to kilograms. So there are 1,000 grams and 1 kilograms. So you're just moving the decimal place over. So I have 0 0.075 
kilograms. So to find the molality now, molality is just the moles of the solute, the point 0.4027 moles, divided by the kilograms of the solvent, 0 0.075 kilograms, and for the molality you get 5.37 mole out. All right, so now that you have the molality, you can plug it into the next equation, the delta TB, whoa, there we go, is KB times molality, and delta TF is KF times molality. So the KB for water, we have that is 0.51, you get that from the table, 0 0.51 degree C per molal times the 5.37 molal. And when you work that out, you get 2.7 degrees Celsius. So that doesn't mean that water, that the solution is now going to boil at 2.7. It's just that uh, it's going to boil at 2.7 degrees higher than it would have before. This is the delta TB. So the new boiling point, you're going to add that. So we'll, and we'll do that in a second. We'll do the same thing for the KF. We have a different constant. The KF is 1.86. You're going to need that for the lab, this constant, for when you're working on the pre-lab. Molal. And so this one is the freezing point. It's going to go down by about 10 degrees Celsius. So if you're looking for the new boiling point, it's 100, right? Because that's what the, freeze, the boiling point of water is plus 2.7. So the new boiling point is 102.7. So make sure you, you add, it, add that to 100. And the freezing point um, was 0. And now we're going to subtract 10 because it's going to get lower. So it's like negative 10 degrees Celsius. So those are your new boiling points and freezing points there.